What it do, what it is, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day, and today we have a great episode for you all, speaking on the topic of self-care on every end of the spectrum with the homeboy, Dev. He's in the building. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring that to you live. So make sure that you stay tuned. I woke up, chose myself today. Uh... I woke up, chose myself today. Don't give a fuck what no one say. Bitch, I'm okay, Devi, man. But you can't call me selfish, man. Self care, self care, self care, bitch. I'm in love with myself today. Bitches, bitches, bitches. But my lady gifted presents, man. Niggas hella iffy. Comb them out the honey. Swedish games. Lost some old friends. Cause fuck niggas was hella fraudulent. Fraud I ain't. I bought you can't. Is you is or is you ain't. On my piece and mumbo sauce. But still, a smoke you like a vape. Niggas be talking that shit, ayy Me, I get chips and I dip, lace You just be running your lip like a bitch I just sit back, I'm vegan, eat ten, bae Cool as a fan with my shit, say Okay, Debbie, I'm the shit, hey In love with myself, my mental health ain't on my wrist, ayy Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls With cornrows, perms, and curls <laughs> That uh, beautiful beat uh, slash song that you heard was none other than Mental Health by the homie Dev. Speaking of which, he is in the building. We will be talking on many topics of self-care, like I said before. But Dev, uh, he's a self-care enthusiast. Um, he's an entrepreneur. He's a man of many traits. But uh, no need for no more introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Dev is in the building. What it do, bro? What's good, bro? I appreciate you for having me, man. I'm, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Of course, of course. I'm glad we got straight into it, right? So little 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 backstory of how we even came across. So we're recording live from Charlotte for those who don't know. Um and for most who do know and don't know, I'm from Maryland and so is Dev. You from Maryland or Yes sir. No, I'm from I'm from Maryland, M D. There we go. <laughs> so we both from Maryland. We came we, we crossed paths out here in uh Charlotte. Um I was just it was during the summer, I was just walking around one day during a strip in Noda, which um it's like a vendor strip. It has plenty of vendors for like artistic type scene and entrepreneur type scene. And I think just I caught the aroma of something that just smelled fucking mesmerizing, <laughs> like like a shea butter lotion, but with a more um, cereal scent added to it. It was crazy. And uh, it was it was a product that he had that I'm gonna let him speak on, and it just caught my attention. He had a good sales pitch. I ended up getting the product, ended up loving the product, and and from there we connected. So just real quick, tell him about your brand and your product and and what it is. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you for loving the product and fucking with me, man. Giving me a shot. I appreciate that. Of course. Um, but so the brand is called Get Right Beard. Um, it's a self care brand. It's uh, geared towards fellas. You know, um, it's not limited, ladies. I got some products for y'all as well. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> like I said, it's a self-care brand. Um, I make soaps. I make shea butters. I make shampoos. Pretty much that all aid and assist in hair growth. I do have uh, body products and body wash and stuff like that. Um, but I created the self-care brand called Get Right Beard um, <clears throat> for us, for the fellas, for you to feel good. You know what I mean? You need to make sure you self-care. Niggas be walking around ashy. Niggas be walking around funky. No deodorant. Like, come on, bro. You got to get right. Hence the name. Get right. Um, mm -hmm. And get right is a lifestyle. It's not just get right beard. You know what I mean? It's the way you eat. It's the way you think. It's what you manifest. It's all that stuff. So, um, in a nutshell, it's just it's, it's more than just beard products. It is a self-care brand. Um, but what you smelled that day was the Fruit Loop John. I got it here sitting in the front. It's the red uh, one with the beard on it. The logo is supposed to be me for those who don't know my beard was out there at one point but right now i'm jai like jai like low i had to cut it down to, to get the uh it, the maintenance like, up yeah right, you, right. you know beard be gang. Like that. Yeah, shout yeah, out yeah, beard yeah. gang it'd be but. like that <laughs> and you said self-care is big for men when i was younger i think we all went through this right where like in elementary school we kind of bullshitted on our hygiene mm -hmm. we would turn the shower on and just <laughs> sit in there sitting yeah like this, yeah right. and bullshit <laughs> And our mothers always told us the same thing. All right, all it's going to take is that one girl to call you funky mm -hmm. or that one girl that gets you attention and you're going to change up. And lo and behold, yeah. sixth grade, mm -hmm. once I started, you know, peeping, like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm liking. Feeling yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling myself. I'm liking how these little girls are smelling. So let me, you know, try to keep up, too. I ain't been ashy or funky since. But, <laughs> but also, 
you know, that's like a number one turn on for women, which is the easiest thing ever. Your mm -hmm. self-care. Your nails is clipped. Your mm -hmm. breath smelling good. You ain't ashy. You nice and trimmed up. Right? I mean, it's, it's simple. But, I mean, it's not as simple for most people. But, I mean, that's like easy. Like, that's yeah. the number one thing that catches a girl's <clears throat> attention is your smell. You can't be good to no woman. You can't be, my motto, you can't be good to nobody else until you're good to yourself. You got to put you first. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And we're going to get on all that. But before we get to that, let's start with this, right? Straight off the bat. Dev, one thing that I respect as a hustler is a hustler. And one thing that I respect even more is a hustler with quality product. Full disclaimer, we're not talking drug related. No. <laughs> um, but like I said, your product is quality product. Uh, you, I've used it. You know what I'm saying? This is my honest testimonial to it. I've used it for months now. I've gotten many compliments because, like I said, it not only smells good, but it's truly a, what I had, at least the beard uh, butter, it's a true beard moisturizer. So I've had, you know what I'm saying, like uh, a few um, a few girls be like, wow, look at you all moisturized. And then when they get close, <laughs> they be like, oh, my God, what's it's that smell? Oh, my, who the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. man, what? Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. So um, let me ask you, what all makes up your beard moisturizer? Um, so the beard butter is what, you know what I mean? Beard I call butter. it moisturizer. You, you good, bro. Um, it is on my site. It's called the get right butter. Um, it's a shea butter base. It has jojoba, grapeseed, flaxseed, castor, and Ghanaian shea butter. Um, jojoba oil helps lock in the moisture of a beard, hair in general. Grapeseed oil also helps grow the beard out. Castor. Castor is the key ingredient. Mm -hmm. Castor oil is great for the thickness, for the fullness. Mm -hmm. So if all my niggas is walking around with patchy beards, get you some castor oil. If you can't get a hold of my products, bro, I'm not knocking what you do. Go to your local beauty supply store. Go get you some castor oil. Keep that thing clean. That's why I got the shampoo sitting right there. But castor oil is going to be your best friend um, along with the shampoo. I'll get into that later. But castor oil helps with the thickness. A couple times I done pushed my hairline back. I got a hat on right now, but a couple times I done pushed my hairline back. And that castor oil helps rejuvenate that mm -hmm. hair um so jojoba grapeseed flax is also good for the skin and nails it's also in there and castor oil and again it's a shea butter base um the scent is just you know what i mean for shits and giggles make yeah, you smile on top. yeah exactly yo castor oil <laughs> he is not lying we we put in we put in all the niggas that see i'm saying living a patchy life on game right now castor <laughs> oil changed the whole game for me when i started using it um, like you said you can, you can grab it anywhere beauty <clears throat> supply they even sell it at walmart to get the jamaican black castor mm -hmm. oil that's what I rub it in, and yeah, then I put your product, your uh, beard moisturizer, on top of that. Um, so how did you come across uh, all the ingredients for your beard butters? Like, how did you come across it and finalize everything that like makes it up? Like, did it take like experimenting with it or what? Bro, it was a big ass science fair project. Mm. Like, <laughs> um, so I started. Um, the the brand is still relatively new. Um, <clears throat> it's a year and a half old, um, and. I was out, I took a trip to LA, uh, me and my lady, we took a trip to LA, and we went to a store, long story short, in the store they had all this like black seed oil, they had uh, sea moss gel, Dr. Sebi stuff, and I'm like, yo, how can I create a product <clears throat> that can stand in this store? Um, at that point was like, well, I was just like, yo, I got a beard. So I'm like, well, how do I maintain my beard? What do I use? What products do I use in my beard? I already used castor oil, so I already knew what time it was with the castor oil. Um, shea butter, I got eczema, so I already used the, the mm. shea butter on my skin. So I'm like, all right, shea butter is good for moisture. Um, you can keep your beard moisturized as well, um, but you don't want it too, too heavy. So I looked at other ingredients that weren't too, too heavy, um, putting it in your beard and stuff like that. So like I said, the castor oil I already knew about, shea butter I knew about, jojoba and grapeseed oil I had to do my homework on. Mm. I wasn't too familiar with grapeseed oil. Um, and I wasn't too familiar with jojoba oil. The first time I seen jojoba oil, I called the shit jojoba or jojoba. I ain't know how to pronounce it. Mm. Um, and then um, flax. Flax uh, seed oil is also good for skin, hair, and nails in general. So all my um, estheticians, all my uh, hair care gurus and stuff like that, they know about flax seed oil as well. <clears throat> okay. All right, bet. So you really, like, put it together. Like, this wasn't just woke up, threw it all together, here it is. Um, that comes with anything that's great. Like, people see it as the final product and think it was kind of, you know, sweet or overnight or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's more, just a process. Yeah, more so stuff. It takes a lot of experiment and trying this out, failing. It takes a lot of failing. With this shit, we was kind of talking about, you know, before, like, you know, even where I'm at now is cool, but it's like 10 levels ahead of where I started. Mm -hmm. Like, I started with just one microphone, a little table. 
uh, a split jack and two pair of headphones. Me and the person sitting across from each mm-hmm. other. But it took a lot of failing, a lot of trying shit that got no traction. You know what I'm saying? Man. With you. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like. A lot of late nights experiment and shit. So, yeah, that, that goes into it. And, I mean, but it was good because you had your bid and you was able to really relate to it on an extra personal level. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this, speaking of the bid. Full disclaimer, you got a lady. You mentioned that. Mm-hmm. But let's let's talk about when the bid first came in. Mm-hmm. Was it a game changer? Bruh. <laughs> I wish I could whistle right now. Hold on, I'm laughing. I can't. <laughs> Bruh. Game changer. Mm-hmm. Whole different. Like, when it connected, I should say. I was about to say that. I was about to get there, bro. Yeah. I, genetically, I'm blessed. I was able to have a little. I was patchy. I yeah. was patches. Yeah. In, in high school, I was patched up. Okay. I had the peach fuzz and I had the, the chin hair, uh-huh. but I never had the full jump. Um, then it started, it connected, but it didn't fully connect. The mustache mm-hmm. ain't connect. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, bro, I just wish I could get that little piece to yeah. connect. Yeah. Castor oil, bro. Yeah. Like castor. that castor oil and keeping it clean. Um, mm-hmm. That's the number one thing to growing a beard is keeping that thing clean. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what got it connected. Uh, bro, it was a game changer. Start different women start looking at me, start talking to me and stuff like that. I'm like, wait, I just talked to you from? when I was butt naked. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, that's how it go. Like, game. Changes. Real I, life. I, I started. I started with the patch too. No, honestly, I started with the sideburns, but not re- like they was deep. Yeah. I started with the shy glizzy. I was about to say the glizzy joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> it, like people used to call me glizzy because my shit. They'd be like, "Oh, you got the glizzy joints?" Because I had yeah. I had a little bit of chin peach fuzz, uh-huh. and then I had the sideburns, and then that was it. So what happened was. Once the hair went away, mm-hmm. it just went it just went directly down south to the beard. Yeah. Like soon as I, I shaved my head on my twenty third birthday, uh Jordan year, Jordan look. And mm-hmm. as soon as I did that, it just started connecting more and more every day. And so I said, All right, we ain't we ain't got it here, but we're gonna push it out right here. Yeah, I traded I traded the wave brush for the beard comb. <laughs> cool. That's cool, all cool. W- wood, beard 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 comb, wood beard comb. Wood beard comb. Wood is the way. the way to go, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, Pause. We, we, wood wood beard combs is the way to go. Yeah, we put right. your on. But yeah, I, I once I did that and that came in. I was I was like damn because I'm I'm the hair's gone but once the hair left and the beard came in mm-hmm. one thing I noticed Psst. older woman oh my god nigga <laughs> left and right said, sugar mama sugar mama you, like damn. what it was I went I went from being called uh, um whatever good looking to handsome yeah you at that point you handsome now once I'm they handsome. give once they kept giving the handsome compliment I'm talking about grown ass once they kept mm-hmm. giving the handsome compliment I was like oh damn. Mm-hmm. Th- this is the right way. Oh, oh, oh the lady say you, you so handsome. Well, you so damn fine. Like them, them two right there. When they say you that, know, you, you know, know. You if you know, you know. You in there like draws. <laughs> you in there like draws. Um, I, I ain't trying to get you in trouble with this. Speaking of older women, mm-hmm. I was kind of thinking to myself, what's the difference between like interacting on that level with an older woman and a young woman? When I say older, let's say what, like thirty five and older, thirty seven older. That's still young. So kinda. 40 over? We can do 40, 40 over. over. Okay, boom. <laughs> 40 and over Four, club card. There we go. Let's go 40 and over. Let's go 35 and under. Mm-hmm. I was talking to my man with this the other day. First and foremost, like I said, the, the older woman, I mean, they ain't, they ain't got no time to waste. They not fucking around. Straight to the point. Straight, straight to, to the it. chase. No, no if, ands, or buts about it. Like... That's how it is. Um, older women know what they want. They see what they want. They get after it, and there's no, it's no games. Younger women, um, I have said I'm, I'm blessed because I got my situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But younger women, a lot of the times, they don't know what they want, mm-hmm. um, or they think they know what they want. They get that, and they like. Oh, prime example. <clears throat> I don't know where this thing came from. Maybe Instagram is to blame. I don't know. But younger women is like, I want me a hood nigga. I want me a, eh, 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 get him a hood nigga and the nigga doing time or the nigga doing this or he doing that or he all in the streets and then. Or just dog him out in general. Yeah, bro. That's not, that's, I mean, but that's what young, and then the younger generations want. Exactly. And wonder why they stress and be like, why is life like this? Why are exactly. niggas like this? All that type of shit. Exactly. And, and not only that, uh, like we said, but the older women, they 40 and over, they know what they want to go after it. A younger chick might know what she want, but still kind of play games with it. She she one foot in, one foot out. Cause she cause she knows she got the um you know she got more options to go along with it and more time options mm-hmm. and time. Older women know they ain't got options and time. They're like, look, I ain't playing no games. Like, but I'm trying with, to get this four hundred one k. Yeah, like. yeah. But, but with that being said, if an older woman just wants uh-huh. it to be casual, mm-hmm. they'll keep it a hundred there too. But they'll be mm-hmm. straight up front, straight with straight forward, bro. Mm-hmm. Like if, for all my fellas, bro. If y'all single, bro, go 
Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Go on, get on, oh, hold on. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. yeah, bro. They, so, go ahead. So, so how it would go, I mean, I think every woman, uh, what they initially do is set up that trap for you to purposely walk in. Mm-hmm. Older women, it's a little bit more broad. But once they do, and like you said, once they say fine, good looking, or handsome, mm-hmm. you know you good. You got the complete green light to seal the deal mm-hmm. from there. And you just got to be big on picking up on the vibes. You got to be, you got to be able to, to read the room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't and, and, don't overly and, attack it. Just just play the field, bro. Be and smooth. smooth with it too. Be smooth. I remember like when I was younger and like older women first started like coming at me. I would like you know react on like some mad you know corny young shit. And they'd be like, uh, nah, nigga. Yeah, bro, being a dry. young, being a young nigga, bro, and you, you talk to an older woman for the first time, you like, yeah, um, you hype. I got the bottles, I got the trees. She like, what? Yeah, like, yeah. I got all that. Yeah, like, what are you yeah. saying? What are yeah, you? Oh yeah, with a younger chick, that's the oh, that's, that's the, the ultimate that's the booby line. trap. Yeah, yeah, what you drink? What you smoke? That's nah, the bro. ultimate booby trap. Older women just like conversation. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. you really being genuine and being yourself, mm-hmm. and you you know what I mean? You should probably have something going for yourself, or at least be able to lie. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> and, and I and yeah. I, I will say this one more last <clears throat> thing about the difference between older women and younger women, only because re, I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> When they get these off, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When they get these off, older women, you think a motherfucking earthquake was was in the room or some shit when they get these <laughs> off. <laughs> For real. It may take a little longer. It may be a little bit more work. But when a when an older joint get these off. Hey, bro. You think I, they have an seizure I didn't, seizure I didn't know what shit. I was doing, bro. I was 21. Mm-hmm. I had like a. 38. Mm-hmm. That, okay. That's actually, like, I ain't trying to get her in trouble, but that was, she, she was, I, I don't <laughs> but <laughs> it was, what, that's a 17-year age difference? It is what it, it be. Yeah, that's 17. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, hey, it, it, I ain't know what I was doing, but I, I, I did what I did. What did he say? I put the key in that door and I locked that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, bro. It was what it was, though, man. Yeah. Um, again, I'm in a happy situation right now. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Like I said, yeah. for the skin, we're, just, love, we're just strolling down memory lane. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I say yeah. that because uh, the the most previous, you know what I'm saying, uh, older Joan I was with or whatever, when she got hers off, like I said, to take a minute, take mm-hmm. a little longer than, you know what I'm saying, a younger joint. But when she got hers off, <laughs> it's like, all right, it's like, boom. Say you get a 2022 car, you start it up. Oh, mm-hmm. As soon as you turn the key, eh, eh, smooth. Like as soon as it starts up, it's smooth sound and stoop. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a 1950 Chevy. <laughs> it's like eh, 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 eh. it takes longer to <laughs> turn <laughs> on, <laughs> but whatever it's turned on. <laughs> like we smooth. <laughs> Rolling <laughs> down the street. Like. Man, what? That's how I was. I'm like, damn, are you good? Like that was, yeah, yeah. It was it I'm was good, real. baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want something to eat? Like, damn. I done did that motherfucker. <laughs> you got enough t-shirts and, and underwear? You good? You good for the week? How you getting work? <laughs> All right. Psst. Man, this is hey, what, what uh, Boosie said? He's like, man, and the Wi-Fi jumping in mm-hmm. this bitch. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi jumping in this bitch. Hey, like, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, uh, we gonna we gonna leave the Cougars alone for a minute. All right, back to the bed talk. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Cause we talked about when we when we had to go through growing pains, mm-hmm. um, nobody with a beard went straight to the full flesh. Everyone had to go through the growing pains, the patches stage. That's how we got to where we at. Mm-hmm. It's like um, you know anything else that you know takes time. So when you was like kind of uh, when you first got in the game, we wasn't fully connected. Did you have a beard idol? Yeah, Rose. Everybody, Rose? Looked, everybody looked at Rose. Ah, Rose, Rose was that nigga. That's a um, great one. <clears throat> but the thing about Rose's beard, like. Genetically, he genetically can grow his the joint, under joint. The under joint. Yeah. Like that's a different ball game. It like is. for the that's a game change. Like I can grow the under, but it just don't I don't know. I just like my jaw. We, we I, I like the you under. like the jawline. Yeah. You want it on, I, on the jawline yeah. and this boom, you yeah. shop, everything shop. Yeah. Um but Rose was definitely the item. I'm like, yo, like that shit, that shit, yeah, bro. Like, bro, out there, like gang, yeah. like he, he in the videos and yeah. junks just rubbing all his uh-huh. beard. I'm like, nigga, that's how you live luxury, that is. Like, and, and, he and that's what one, I wanted. And he was one of the first that came out with it, full flesh, <laughs> and he's bald, so it's stuck. And out was repping it. It yeah. was just straight yeah. repping it. Like, yeah, damn, this nigga, child, he putting on for the one of the fat dark skin niggas, and he putting on for the, <laughs> for the niggas with the beard. So I'm like, all right, cool, yeah. I'm, I'm rocking with you, Brody. Yeah, he um, but yeah, yeah, he was definitely like you said though. I, yeah, I don't like the under. Mm-hmm. I think where we at with the jawline, it kind of just uh brings out your natural jawline and like mm-hmm. neck definition more, mm-hmm. which I think is more the appealing. Under to women. is just like 
I got a comb under this. Yeah, one. yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm not rocking with it either. And I, I want you. some more neck tat, so yeah, I ain't really want the under. I feel you. Um, so like I said, my idol at first when I had just the side joints, it was Shy Glizzy. Mm. It was like, all right, he repping for the sideburn niggas. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> but once my shit went away and my shit started coming in, I'm a light skinned bald nigga, so people started calling me Common. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was like, okay. all right. So Common was my beard idol because his his was mm-hmm. cool, but it wasn't out there like Rose's. Yeah. But it it was fully connected, tall enough and just enough. And of course, he was a light skinned bald nigga. People would call him just because I'm light skinned bald. I look nothing like him, but because of that, so I'm like, all right. start sing, singing the comments. Like, I just want you to know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, that was that shit. That was the yeah. joint where he was outside. Mary, that was, the the Mary J. Black, was that Mary or Faith? Ah, I can't remember. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't think I, that was. I think, I think it, was, it was Mary. I think it was Faith, was it? I don't know. We got to do our homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um. I think, bro, I want to say it was Mary. Common Mary J. Blige. Come close, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. Mary. Yeah, it was Mary. You're I've been right. watching Mary. This this is a little bit off topic. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. but I've been watching Power, bro. Have you? Do you watch Power? I'm not. I don't. I ain't gonna spoil it. You should watch it. I haven't I was, watched. I was like you two weeks ago. I never watched it. Never? Two weeks ago, I've never watched the very first season one, episode one. I never watched it. So you completely <clears throat> caught up. I um I got uh what do you call it Amazon Prime. I mean yeah. Amazon uh Fire Stick. Yeah. So I was in the house bored. Snow days. You know at home it was yeah. snowing, bro. DMV it was snowing. Heavy yeah. snow. Um, and I just was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to just catch up on Power. I watched it. That's what's up. I liked it. And it was cool. It was definitely good entertainment. Shout out I, Power. I stopped watching Power <laughs> after the season finale where Angela got shot. That's when I stopped. Okay. It gets way better. It gets way better. It gets better? It gets, it gets way better. I think I watched, I think that was what, season four, if that I'm not mistaken? That was like season three, season four. And then the very next season, the very first episode, I watched it and I just, I don't know. I was just like, eh, I'm good. Once, you know, once- It gets slow. It does get slow. Yeah. And it's, t- honestly, bro, like, <clears throat> keep it up, man, with you, it's a lot of fucking scenes. It's a lot of sex scenes in power. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. I be like a little kid. I'm like, bro, I don't- this yeah. shit is soft porn, yeah. Cinemax ass yeah. shit. I don't fast forward through this shit. Fancy got like, piped in power. Like, bro, Fancy, Fancy. definitely got piped, bro. From Jamie Foxx. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro, Fancy. I, was I like, said, oh, oh shit. They did that shit yeah, to Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, bro, it was, it was definitely good entertainment, bro. I enjoyed it. I'm all the way now to where Mary J. That's why I brought it up because Mary J. is yeah. in the new season yeah. of Power. So um, I know what's going on. I just haven't watched it. Like, I see yeah. clips on and Instagram. I, Instagram yeah. spoil everything. Yeah. Well, I I see parodies. Yeah. Which is like, um, I forgot who it is, but it's one dude. The, the and nigga from Baltimore? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, crazy. I think he, he's from PG. He just imitates Baltimore. For real? Yeah. You talking about the ball nigga? I mean, he's he not ball. He's a, uh, I can't remember his name. He played football. For the Panthers, or um, cause he, I forgot what school. I we must be thinking of two different people. I can't remember his name. Um, but it's one dude from Baltimore. I can't. He's, so then we must be thinking of two different he, people. He was just at Liddy in the city, though. He was just in Los Angeles. Okay, okay. Society a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, and um, but like he be doing parody, so I know who Zeke is and all that, and I know Meth and, and Mary in it and all that. Mm-hmm. I just, I just haven't done it. I just, um, I don't know. Like lately, I haven't been watching TV as much. Or if I do, I'm just strictly on YouTube. Um, yeah, one show I have been fucking with is Abbott Elementary. You ever see that joint? I heard about it. I know the girl that was like, he got money. He got money, yeah. yeah she's she, in she it. In she, it. I'm, I'm big on like comedy. Like, I, that keeps me in yeah. there. Like, if it's not comedy, I'll be in it until I'm not in it. Then I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't really like this. That's why it surprised me about power. I don't really like too much serious, serious shit. Life mm-hmm. is, life is serious in itself. Right. So watching serious shit is just like, uh. Yeah. Now, everyone is on power though. Um, so. We spoke on the, you know, hands-on and physical um, aspect of your self-care brand with the beard and moisturizing mm-hmm. and everything else that comes with it. Um, bottom line, your brand exemplifies self-care, uh, but not just with physical, mm-hmm. mental self-care as well, mm-hmm. um, whether it's an actual hands-on product or it's like behind, uh, music, like mm-hmm. your music video and whatnot that was played at the beginning. Um, the first step to getting anything productive accomplished is... Uh, being mentally efficient, being mentally in the game first, mm-hmm. right? Um, what are some ways that you mentally prepare to get shit done, to be productive? Um, <clears throat> so the first thing um, that you should do that I've recently started doing, because um, I've literally worked backwards my whole life, I never planned anything out. I'm very sporadic. I'm very like, yo, I want to do this. Yo, I need more product. Yo, I need blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And my brain be all over the place, bro. Mm-hmm. I've been blessed enough to be successful with that method. 
that only works into a certain until a certain point. Yeah. And if you have a career, music, uh, life, <clears throat> bills, you need to be organized. Organization is is the the prime key yeah. in being successful. That's um, one of the main parts of adulting. Bro, <laughs> and I, I hated it, bro. Even yeah. as a younger, like, I, agenda book, I'm not getting this shit signed. Yeah. I hated that shit. I'm not writing my homework in this. Mm-hmm. I know, I remember. But now as I get older, um, I'm not old, I'm 27, but as I get older, I got a lot of shit on my plate. You know what I mean? You got your car insurance. You got this. You got that. You got mm-hmm. so much, so many bills and things that you have to remember. You need to write down what it is that you need or what it is that you your short-term goal or what you want to get accomplished mm-hmm. for that day. You know what I mean? You need to write your goals down. To. You can take a mental note of it. Um, <clears throat> and if you're not a, a person that likes to write things down, you, you got this handy-dandy phone right here. Mm-hmm. Put that thing, put that thing up right up in your notes oh, man. and keep it pushing. Um, it but that's the number one thing I think. Um, to to being successful and moving forward um, is, is writing it down. Writing man. down. Yeah, it, it kind of <clears> puts <throat> your mental at ease because it already knows what it's doing. And if not, you just look down at the words and it refreshes your mind and whatnot. Shit. Yeah, nah, I'm big on that too. That's shit. The the boy right there, I'm uh, every day mm-hmm. changing his joint, yeah. whatever I got going on. And don't it feel good when you can cross some shit out? Like, <laughs> oh, bro. that is the best like, <laughs> feeling ever. <laughs> like, that shit is a one, bro. Like that you, is you such definitely... a good feeling. That's like, that's like that feeling when you perfectly rip off a sticker. Like yeah, and you don't like, have don't, anything like, left ain't over. No, ain't no, it's just like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's one of those feelings. Like when you cross it off, it's such a sigh of feeling yeah, relief. bro. It's 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 uh self gratific is it gratification the word I'm looking for gratification self, yeah self it make you feel good gratitude <laughs> yeah it make one you, of the two it make I you feel good I know what we talking about yeah, yeah. Um, and it, you just feel like a sense of. Like damn, I did that shit. Right. Like all right, next level. What the fuck? I was mad. I was I was stressing over that, bro. And I got yeah. that done. All right, yeah. cool. Next. Right. So, um, <clears throat> me just to kind of throw something different in the atmosphere, um, and it's weird because I recently, I, I always kind of knew this, but like recently, like within the past few months, I truly realized this. So, uh, Desi, my dog, mm-hmm. she's my ESA, my emotional support animal. Mm-hmm. Why do I say that? I mean, le- like legally, like she has paper, she's documented, but like I didn't just do it just to do it. Like she's really my emotional support animal. Mm-hmm. I mean, I also did it to avoid the five hundred dollar pet fee for my apartment yeah, uh, when I signed like my lease. But shout out, Desi. <laughs> <laughs> but um, why? So dogs pick up vibes. Mm-hmm. They can sense vibes like a motherfucker. Like they don't look at like yeah, they look at faces, but vibes is what catches a dog's attention. Your energy. Yeah, vibes and energy, big time. So like. If I'm like down or if I'm kind of out of it, if I'm just, if I have just an overall negative vibe just for like that one day, which comes like every, it probably comes like every month or every other month. When I am that way, Desi wants no parts to do with me. Mm-hmm. Like no parts. She like, nah, nigga, don't come my way until you get that that straightened out. Yeah, nigga, go meditate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's how I know. Because like it'll be so deep and it'll have, I'll be so clouded that I don't even really realize what type of state of mind or what type of energy I'm in, like mm-hmm. how underlined my chakras are. I'm just thinking I'm normal, but deep down I know, but when I see Desi and how she's reacting towards me, it brings it out. Mm-hmm. So if I'm in that state of mind, the first thing I have to do is get right with her. Mm-hmm. I have to like kind of like, you know, coddle her, like, you know, just uh, I have to really force myself to be positive, even if I'm faking it, which I usually am in the beginning, towards her. But then faking it, in turn, inadvertently puts you in exactly, that Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then once she's chill, gets the wagon and tail, like, all right, we cool. It's crazy how much easier it is for me to actually live that out. Yeah. Like, damn, I'm actually good now, <clears throat> right? That's one thing. And two for me is sleep. Mm-hmm. I love to sleep. Yeah, like, that's you. honestly, it's, it's probably one of my biggest weaknesses mm-hmm. that I like to sleep so much. But if I'm mentally ready to attack something, like with this podcast, like, I... I mean, I had work, so I had to wake up regardless. But, you know, the past two days, like, just visioning this podcast, I barely slept. Mm-hmm. And that's how I be. Like, if I'm if I'm focused on something, my sleep, I barely sleep, which is good. Because it don't matter how much sleep I get, I'm once the lights come on, boom, I'm ready to do it. Yeah. If I'm in that negative state of mind, I'm real sleepy and I sleep a lot. That's how I know sluggish I'm stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a, a a real you know true sign of depression. Like mm-hmm. if you're if you sleep a lot, like um I forgot who was next to my cousin. He was saying you know how he was kind of depressed lately and he was sleeping from three to three. Mm-hmm. I'm like yeah, because you why. don't want to do shit. You don't want to hear shit. You don't want to see shit. You don't want to like man. I'm going to sleep. Fuck so this you want to I'm gonna wake up and, and just mm-hmm. maybe this should magically get better. Mm-hmm. Like no. You have to go outside in mm-hmm. order for it to magically get better. And that's not even magic. That's you 
putting in that work and doing that uh what you need to do to make your situation better yeah Yo, um go ahead. prime example my bad <clears throat> with me my situation um my finances i've been blessed to pay my rent ahead of time i always pay my rent a couple months ahead Word. um this month coming up is the first month that i'm i gotta pay now like mm-hmm. it's time to pay some months ahead again yeah i ain't got it so i'm just like damn bro like <clears throat> shout out to everybody who works in nine to five shout out to you bro because mm-hmm. y'all like you got to get up in the morning and and do that and i pretty much had to do uh create that same thing in my head yeah. to make me get up and push me and get that that um what you, that motivation right um so anyway I'm at home, my financial situation isn't really where I wanted to be. And I'm like, yo, I got X amount of dollars. I could take this bread, I could put it in my gas tank, I could go to Charlotte, get my get more materials, and I could hit the ground running and then try to just push forward. And I literally had to push myself out of that situation because I was in the house sleep, the same way you was talking about your cousin. I was in the house sleep watching power. Like all day. Yeah. I'm like, man, let me get my ass up. Ain't no money in this house. You got a couple online orders coming in, but ain't no money in this house. You gotta right. get your ass up and get it. So you know what I mean? Um, everybody who's dealing with mental health issues and uh, a lack of um, enthusiasm and stuff like that, you are not alone. Just make sure you try to push yourself. You got to push yourself. Got to. Which is hard. Like, we all know that's the hardest part to do. It's definitely easier said than done. But anything worth getting is going to be hard. Anything anything really, truly worth accomplishing is going to be hard to do. But it'll be damn sure worth it. You'll thank end. yourself. You're... you're You'll thank your future self. Is mm-hmm. it? Do you thank your your future self for thank you? Thank there you. it is. There yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your future self would definitely say thank you. Like, yo, you you did that shit. Because mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> at the end of the day, the only person who you should be in competition with is yourself. Gosh. Like, you just said, uh, it took a lot of steps to get to where you are now. Looking back at you, like, bro, I'm glad I stuck with this shit. I'm glad <laughs> I did this. I'm glad I did that. You know what I mean? And you you pushed forward. I thought about quitting two <laughs> weeks ago. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> I know about it, bro. Tell me about it. When I was in the house watching the I'm like, bro. <sighs> Amazon. Yo. Uh, shit. FedEx. Uh, ooh, you got to get up at four. Mm, do I want to get? Oh. What that, what that, it's, a, it's a meme. I mean, an uh, Instagram post going around. Somebody speaking another language. I don't speak that. Like, Yo. that's me, bro. I ain't on. Fuck that. Like, Yo. I wanted to. Yeah. But you got to push forward. You got to. Got to. Uh, push you just got to push man that that has to come with it like as far as anyone who's successful with a successful product successful brand successful job that has to come with it like at mm-hmm. least a hundred times where it was like yo i'm about to quit fuck this shit i'm about fuck to do this shit bro that shit ain't even give me no money man. bro going, oh my god going bro. to the block nick i'm slanging dope nick. God, nick, yeah bro, bro no <laughs> please I, don't <laughs> two two I, I two weeks ago i posted a video <clears throat> It bit like the insights on it were awful, mm-hmm. and I spent social like, media will do that to yeah, you, bro. Social yeah, media will do yeah. it. that's another thing, bro. You have to with that social media shit. You got to do it when nobody watching. Mm-hmm. You got to do it when people watching. You mm-hmm. know, you just gotta push, yeah. bro. You got Cause, to because the video took me like two hours to edit, mm-hmm. and I put it out. You know the hard work you put into that motherfucker, like you know. Yeah, and I've had videos <laughs> that I spent way less time with that had good yeah. views, shares, comments. Mm-hmm. This one I made and put it out. It ain't have shit, and mm-hmm. I'm sick. I'm like, I just spent all this fucking time doing, man. I'm mm-hmm. done. I'm done, bro. I'm not wasting my time. And, and then, like I said, uh, like I woke up in the middle of that night because I was just ready to sleep for like twelve hours. I woke up in the middle of the night, went up to Desi. She knew I was in a funk, so I got right with her. Turned on the light. Wrote down some ideas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying for my next Start video. Start Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so, the way to do it. You gotta gotta push through push yeah. through the bullshit, man. Yeah. We listen, y'all. And I know y'all are listening or watching, saying, "Yeah, I definitely wanted to quit too." Everyone <laughs> who has something that's worth getting wanted to quit. Everyone. If, if you tired of starting over, stop quitting. Yo. <laughs> if you tired of starting over, stop quit. Don't quit, bro. Like, just stick with it. Like, imagine where you could be. This time next year. All right, oh, prime man. example, bro. <clears throat> like I said, my business is only a year and a half old. Um, and, like, when I wanted to quit, 
I wanted to quit. Uh, shit, I wanted to quit when I first started. Mm-hmm. I, mean? I wanted to quit because I put, like you said, I put the business, hey, we open for business. I put it up on Instagram. I'm showing people shooting DMs, shooting text. Yeah, bro, I'm going to check you out. Yeah, bro, I'm going to check you out. Mm-hmm. Crickets. Ain't nobody go to the site. I have Wix, so I can see all the traffic that's right. going to my site. Right. Yeah, bro, I checked you. No, you didn't. Right. No, you didn't. But you got to keep pushing, bro. And that's part of how I met you when I was out on the block. I wouldn't have, not in the, on the block, so to speak, but when I was outside, mm-hmm. um, Pushing forward. It's like, bro, like I said, ain't no money in the house. You got to put your best foot forward and try, bro. It's been so many days where I wanted to quit. It's been so many times where I went in different barbershops and I step a foot in that motherfucker. I'm like, hey, how you doing? No. Uh, we good. No. Yeah. Like, Nick, you don't. No. Yeah. I'm trying to get. No. Yeah. It, it's free. Like, I'm yeah. trying to give you a sample, yeah. bro. Nah. So you just got to. It literally goes with your product. Like, this is. Bro, you just got to. You... I'm at. All right. If you get three no's. If you got if you do it ten times and you got three no's, and the rest of the ten you got seven yeses, what if you would have quit at that second no? Mm-hmm. I'm just like fuck it, you right. would have never reached that them yeses. So you right. got to push. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> to kind of rewind what you said with the website thing, like how you were posted and sending out people like yeah. Another thing mm-hmm. uh, which can be discouraging uh, is how you can put something mm-hmm. on social media, and no one will share it. Mm-hmm. Rihanna. Posted her, pregnant as fuck. Posted her oh baby bump. Oh my god! Congratulations. Nigga. Every first off, when she posted her baby bump, yeah. every girl had that on her story. When her and ASAP came out that she was pregnant, every nigga had a reaction yeah. on his story saying, "Oh man, she's pregnant. I'm sick." <clears throat> right? I mean, everybody. Everybody, bro. Like sis. Yeah. Your best friend is an esthetician and she does vagina waxes. Why you ain't post her shit? Good you team. ain't post all this shit. You wow, you wow, you out of pocket. You watching this right now. Mm-hmm. You was out of pocket if you didn't post your best friend and you wished Rihanna a happy pregnancy mm-hmm. and you wished, I don't fucking know, T Pain happy birthday. Right. Like you wow. Right. <laughs> like, and, and, and for the dudes that got, you know, uh, a homie that rap, <laughs> good. Now there are, you know, uh, hopefully if your homie rap and he night and he not nice, hopefully you keeping it a buck with him. But mm-hmm. I'm talking about decent dudes out here that are rapping and they homies, you know what I'm saying, they ain't posting nothing. Ain't sharing nothing, ain't liking nothing, just like, oh, yeah, that's But you up. retweeted Lil Baby. And keep it moving. Exactly. <clears throat> all right, so uh, speaking of music, Lil Baby and all that, mm-hmm. what type of music goes into your <clears throat> self-care regimen? Oh, uh, man, I ain't going to hold you. I like a little bit of everything. Um, I got the times where I want to listen to some some gung-ho, shoot em up bang-bang shit, even though I don't condone that, I ain't on that. Um, sometimes that, that gets you where you when I'm making products. Sometimes I'm listening to 1017 and Gucci and, and all that. Like, sometimes I'm listening to, I don't know, Jill Scott. That was my baby mother, by the way. I love Jill Scott. Jilly Miss from Philly. Jilly Shout from you Philly. out. <laughs> but, um, the way she rocked the mic. Man, I love Jilly. Um, <clears throat> but it depends on, on the mood. Um, what I will say, uh, when you start to, where I'm at right now, when I started to self-care more, I started to listen to more now, even though, like I said, I listen to the, the goo wops and shit like that. When I'm in the car just riding, sometimes I listen to, I don't know if you guys heard of him, but his name is FKJ. Um, he's a producer. He's a, a, I think he's, he might be, I don't know, he's white, but he produced the uh, John to be like, ta da, ta da. I don't know if y'all heard it, but yeah, the, anyway, the joint yeah. where like they're playing hella instruments. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Right. he produced that. Yeah, um, is, is he the is he the white dude in the he's video? The white, exactly. Okay, That's I know exactly. He what has you're talking a about. bro. His his discography is excellent. Like his music is great. Um, it puts you in that chill. Like if you're having a bad mental day, mental health day, listen to his joint. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember. I'm about to pull him up. Bro, the, why are you pulling up the joint mm-hmm. you're talking about with him and dude? Bro, that's like that comes on. So I, I listen to, you know, music when I'm working, like this is my office, when I'm working in my office or whatever, mm-hmm. and that's like the number one joint that comes on. Like mm-hmm. that shit is so mesmerizing. It's called French Kiwi Juice. I don't know if you guys can see it, but French it's called Kiwi French Juice. Kiwi Juice. Yeah, but drop, this I'll is an excellent, it came out in 2017, so I'm late. Um, but still. But, but this man, is an excellent, um, no it's an excellent body of work. When you yeah. feeling down, um, it's very melodic. And even though it doesn't have a lot of words, some of the shit he's saying is, is gems. Um, one of the songs is called Why Are There Boundaries? Um, and he was talking about how he was asking everybody why there are our boundaries. Why do we have boundaries? What like why are we bound? Mm-hmm. Um, and he just really goes in depth with it. So y'all should definitely check that out. And um, I attest, it's, it's I good attest. cleaning like music I, as well. Yeah, like I said, I know the video you talk about exactly. I listened to that joint. It's so Masego, Masego, or Masego, and uh, FKJ. Yep. 
Um, to kind of piggyback what you said, it definitely depends on the mood. Like you said, so like the shoot 'em up bang bang for me, that's Griselda. Mm-hmm. When I'm working out or when I'm running, when I just when I got to release energy, mm-hmm. it's that type of shit. It's like drill. I guess you can call it drill, but I like you know Griselda opposed to you know um, most that are out right now. Um, but for me, mo- for the most part, it's between two moods, if you would. The first would be like the hustler mood, hustler mm-hmm. type thing. That's when I'm listening to Hove. That's when I'm listening to Nip. Gotti, mm-hmm. old mm-hmm. Jeezy. When I'm like, I get truly inspired by hustlers telling their lives in music. You know what I'm saying? Instead of rapping Jace, in a way. Don't yeah. set your price on niggas. Don't be too nice to niggas. Yeah. Jay said it, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mama ain't raised no fool. Put me anywhere on God's green earth. Mm-hmm. I'll triple my worth. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like that is literally yeah. me. You know what I'm this saying? Is, and, and listening to them, bro, to piggyback off what you said, mm-hmm. is part of the manifestation process. Exactly. How long is it? Bro, Nip said this shit best. And I never really, when Nip was out and popping, like when he was still alive, rest in peace, Nip, I didn't really listen to him how I should have. It was, mm-hmm. it's the older me now, the more yeah, mature that me, it more. that's like, <clears throat> how long until opportunity meets preparation? I dissected yeah. that. I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah. You right. Like, yeah. I done ran into so many niggas. I done ran into Wale. I done ran into uh, people from back home. Shout out to MC. I done ran into Loot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shout him out because he supported. Um, running into different people. And at those times, certain times, I wasn't prepared. Mm-hmm. I was not ready. I was mm-hmm. not, hey, man, I ain't had no business cards tangible right. like to pass out. I didn't have no free product to give. Mm-hmm. I didn't have nothing. You have to be prepared um, if you want to be successful. You got to be prepared, like I said, when nobody's watching. You got to just do you. And that's part of the manifestation. So yeah. I definitely agree with what you're saying about the nips and the and the, and the hoves and stuff. Yeah, Victory Lap in general, I mean, just the title of it is self-explanatory, how it, you know, it was just uh, the final piece of everything coming together. But, yeah, that's like a complete uh, manifestation, staying down till you come up. Um, you know what I'm saying prevailing like all of that that's like the enigma of that that's mm-hmm. that's why I got that vinyl on my wall um, and then the other mood for me would be like a uh, chill mesmerized type mood and with mm-hmm. that it can be anything I mean it could be Bob Marley mm-hmm. it can be the Beatles it can be Earth, Wind & Fire it could be Prince. Prince. Yeah. it can be Dom <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's, it's that chill yeah. type thing you know what I'm saying that kind of also may allow me to kind of de- uh, do some deep thinking as well. Mm-hmm. Like, man, like Bob, like, like especially like if you in that zone, no matter what type of zone it is, you know what I'm saying? We, we you can't just... really listen to reggae music and be in a bad mood. I've nah, never, yeah, yeah. I've never, yeah. the same as honestly, um, Hispanic music. You can't listen to music like that and be in a bad mood. Like that's, a, those are uplifting Mm-hmm. Sounds. I don't know what. Like it's just it makes you feel better. Like you know what, man. What the fuck was I mad about? Exactly. You know what I mean. And that that's crazy because you can do that as opposed to smoking a blunt. I know a lot of my niggas back home and people that watch this be like, man, I could just I could just roll a blunt and right. feel better and fit. Nah, right. bro. Like you don't. Cole said the best. Medicate, meditate. Don't medicate. Yeah, like you don't want to over abuse. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Substances. And this coming from a, a weed smoker for. I'm 27. I've been smoking weed for like 22 years, 23 years, like strong. It's been the last few years where I kind of slowed since down. Four? Huh? Since four, nah, since nah, five? nah. I got, I gassed it. I gassed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's been a long time though. That's how you know I'm burnt out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, nah, I've been Look, that was it right there. That was <laughs> it. That was it kicking in. Four. I'm glad you caught on that. That was it kicking uh, in right, right there. Wait like, a minute. Yeah, I'm burnt that, out, bro. Don't you, be uh, like me. Be you better in an than okay me. Household. What's going on? <laughs> CPS. Where y'all at? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> nah. Um. Without smoking, probably since I was 13, 14, something like that. Yeah. Um, so I know I went hard in the paint for at least a good 10 years. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. Um, and it was just, it was too much, bro. You don't mm-hmm. you don't need that every day. You don't need right. that in your life. You need stability and, and that goes, uh, it aligns with mental health. You got to yeah. just be in tune with yourself um, and don't don't abuse. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I know it's a little bit off topic, but yeah. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of which, your song that played in the beginning, uh, Mental Health, mm-hmm. that song, that's a hell of a feel-good theme. Thank you, bro. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. The crazy part about that, um, I was having a, a shitty mental health day. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just so, <clears throat> and all my hustlers and entrepreneurs can attest to this, you ever just feel like, like, yo, I got to get to the bag. I got to get to the bag at all costs. Fuck that. I got. I ain't get no sleep. Fuck that, nigga. We going to get to the to this bag. Like, but- and that's a good, it's, it's a gift and a curse. 
it's a blessing because you got that hustler mentality. Your mom ain't raised no sucker. She ain't raised no bitch ass nigga. Like she mm-hmm. raised a, a good upstanding. A yeah, a go a go getter. But mm-hmm. at the same time, that can have an effect on your mental health. Yeah. You you going to get it so much that you're not putting yourself you burn first. Yourself out. You burnt yourself out. You didn't eat correctly. You right. didn't pray. You didn't thank God for giving you another day. All mm-hmm. that stuff, bro. And um <clears throat> I was having one of them days. I was vending. I was on my way to go vend on U Street. Um, that's normally where I vend at. If you're watching this, you're in the city, you're back home. Um, 14th and you, I'm right there at the corner in front of Law Society. I was on my way to go vend, and I just wasn't feeling it. Like, my energy wasn't there. I didn't eat that day. Like, I'm just like, yo, damn. I left my burning lamp at home where I burned the oil and the Fruit Loop scent, like, goes mm-hmm. up and down the block. My tablecloth was dirty. I just wasn't mm-hmm. feeling it. And I'm like, man, fuck this. I'm going home. And I just happened to hit my man up, Juice. Shout him out. He has a... a a mental health brand called Get Home Safe, and it's geared towards fellas. It's geared towards black people in general. I ain't gonna say just fellas, but it's geared towards us. And he has a line of uh, of different therapists um, that are cost effective. I mean, cost if they they help you if you broke. <laughs> like if you broke, they still work with you. Yeah. Um, but I was uh, I hit him up and I was like, yo, like I'm really just not feeling this shit. Like I'm about to just slide and, and come chop it up with you. Like, bro, you know you always welcome. So I come talk to him. And he kind of got my head, he's he, my head back right. He's kind of like a big brother figure. And um, we were just talking about the mental health thing and about doing this and about getting organized and about these wholesale deals that I was talking to you about earlier and getting mm-hmm. everything just uh, in alignment. And I was talking to another young lady who was there. Um, she does uh, uh, marketing and, and management for social media. And all of the bells and whistles just started clicking. I'm like, all right, you know what I mean? I left there feeling inspired as shit. So I just cut on the beat on the way home. <clears throat> And I was like, it was some real shit. The very first line, what I said, I said, I woke up, chose myself today. I'm like, shit. I literally, that same day, bro, I woke up and I chose myself over the money. Mm -hmm. I chose myself. I said, fuck that bread, bro. I need some bread, yeah. But we'll get through it. I woke up, chose myself today. Don't give a fuck what no one say. Then I just started kicking my shit. I've been rapping, but I honestly had to take a step back from rap so I can get my head on straight and get my shit back to, to where I needed it to be. Um... It was like a two, three year hiatus where I didn't rap. That's because I just felt like I was going through a lot of shit, uh, family members passing, shit just happening, life be life. And I had to go back and reflect on what I had to talk about. So that was that moment. And then, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's out. I'm happy that you enjoyed it. I'm happy that uh, other people have hit me up and told me that it inspires them to push forward and choose them and choose themselves first, as you should. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and yeah, bro, I'm I'm happy. There we go. A true masterpiece that <coughs> came together as such. Um, yeah, yeah, that's really hard. When you first sent it to me, <laughs> I was like, damn. Cause I mean, I'm I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred. When you first sent it to me, first of all, I, I didn't even know you made music. So I'm thinking a lot of my client base don't. Like, yeah, I, I keep it like that. I'm thinking this <laughs> is something that you just tried out the blue. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, ah, uh, right, another whatever. one. Yeah, but but even still, when I get those, I yeah. at least click play and yeah. I'll give it like twenty seconds. seconds. Yeah. yeah, but that joint yeah. off off bucks. I'm like, hold Thank up. You. I was in the airport, so I'm already kind of you know airport. You're like scrambling, like you're yeah. kind of. I'm I landed like home. I'm not taking off. I just got home. Yeah. So I'm like kind of scrambling. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm like ah fuck. I listen to it. I'm like oh shit. Thank this you. is tough. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, yeah. Like I said, that is literally like a great feel-good theme song, bro. And the, the tape is on that, that same level. Honestly, I wanted to put the tape out sooner. I'm going to put it on Apple Music so everybody can stream it and listen. Um, but again, part of putting you first is not moving on anybody else's time. You have to move with what's comfortable for you. And um, I don't want to rush things. I don't want to just push it out, just say, hey, I got a tape out. Like, mm-hmm. nah, bro, I really want to take my time, edit um, get things in alignment, get it mastered and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> because I've done the opposite too many times. I mm-hmm. put out shit just on spin really just because. Mm-hmm. Or I sent this to this and put this on SoundCloud. Like, no, nah, I really want to put my best foot forward as I do with my brand. As you know, you are a reflection of your brand. Mm-hmm. So you don't want your brand to be popping. People go listen to your music and be like, nah, yeah. nah. Right. Like, you, you want that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So thank you, bro. Thank you for... Um, just having a good energy and, and being able to receive it. You know what I mean? Of course. It's, it's yeah, yeah. That joint was dope. Like I said, <laughs> hell of a theme song. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Besides besides that, which is a great theme song, what's another song that could be like your everyday theme song? Mm, that's Any a good song. question. That's a good question. Hold on, hold on. Why are you think. thinking? I'm going to tell you mine. Mm-hmm. And I should have, I should have, I should have let you know this beforehand so you would have had time to think about this. 
Um, but I'll, I'll give you time to think of it. Um, and the reason why I asked because I thought of mine while I was listening to it. Mm-hmm. So backstory the way to get the, but so mine is uh, Diamond in the Back by Curtis Mayfield. Mm-hmm. Why? So everyone that knows me knows that's digging the scene with a gangster. Yeah. Okay. So who don't backstory about the song for those who don't know the mm-hmm. song is basically about him saying you don't need a Cadillac to ride to ride clean, mm-hmm. right? He's saying all he has is his diamond in the back, his sun rooftop, and he's digging the scene with a gangster lean. That's all he needs to be in his element, in mm-hmm. his car. Everyone that knows me knows I ain't got no Dodge. I ain't got no Benz. I have driven a Honda Accord. My I've had three Honda Accords and most recently one CRV. So I have a Honda Accord and Honda CRV. Old joints, 02 and 06. But I love my old Hondas, mm-hmm. right? And I be in my groove <laughs> when I like even my CRV, the most regional, I love it. I wanted to get like a truck, something more big body where I can kind of sit high and ride. Mm-hmm. I love driving that thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, I be in my zone when I'm driving this. this. Cool. And I was like, I was listening to That's Diamond. That's a manifestation in the, car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was dri- I was listening to Diamond in the back. I'm like, yo, this is exactly how I feel. All mm-hmm. I need is my Honda logo on the front, my brakes running good. To, for the exterior to look halfway decent and for the inside to be clean. That's mm-hmm. all I need. And I'm in that zone. So, yeah, mine is definitely, as of now, diamond in the back. I feel like you uh, you got yours. So what's yeah, yours? I, had to, I had to think about it. And it's funny because I looked at my phone to see what I listened to, and it wasn't even none of those songs. Um, it just came right to me. It's an artist called Laundrell. Shout out my lady. She put me on the Laundrell. Um, <clears throat> it's called Gratitude. And um, it's just a it's, it's a good song. It's a good song song to start your day on. Um, it says, uh, how does he start it off? He says, um, gratitude for the sunrise. But I'm trying to think. Oh, he said, I I wake up in the morning and uh, thank God today or something. And he Who's was like, uh, Laundre. And he says, uh, even if I die today, that's just the price I pay. Thank he just give him gratitude. He like yeah. some somebody didn't wake up this morning. Right. Somebody didn't have that opportunity that you have to complain. Mm-hmm. Somebody else ain't had that opportunity. Mm-hmm. So my nigga, just give gratitude. Be mm-hmm. grateful. Be thankful. Um, and now that giving thanks um, is is a is a, a good part of being successful as well, <clears throat> because it helps you just sit back and reflect. Like yo, I, like you said, bro. I started from here. Like I'm happy, bro. Like I'm really I'm really happy. Yes, there's more to obtain, but. I'm happy and I'm I'm thankful for God giving his mercy on me because it's been mm-hmm. plenty of times where niggas that had near death experiences. I yeah. know you know what I'm talking about, like crazy shit that mm-hmm. happened. Um, I could I could live with that song. That's an everyday song. Yeah. Um, that I like. Laundrell, period, bro. Laundrell is another good artist, man. Shout him out. But I don't happy. know him personally, but yeah. shout, shout yeah. out Laundrell. I'm, I'm gonna have to <laughs> tap into that one. Laundrell, or send me that one at least. I got you. song. <clears throat> All right. So before we get up out of here, uh. Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm-hmm. What plans do you got, both business and pleasure, um, on the business side and then with your lady? Um, on the business side, well, don't don't ruin any surprises. No, no, no. On the business side, um, I honestly have to scurry home. Have to hurry up and hit the road. I'm gonna hit the road on um, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, go home. I have to uh, um, meet these wholesale deals that I that I've already um, clients have have paid for and prepaid for their order. So I got to drop those off. Um, so they can, now I'm at the point right now where retail has kind of been slow because of the weather. Um, mm-hmm. and I haven't been able to go vend as much, yeah. but wholesale and bulk deals have been picking up for me. So I'm blessed and happy and shout out to all my clients. Um, baseline barbershop in Temple Hills. I have a few barbershops down here. I need to cut barbershop down here. Um, different shops that purchase wholesale from me. So to answer your question, I got to get back home, give them their products so they can push their products for the Valentine's Day and stuff like that. So the fellas can smell good for the ladies, smell like the Fruit Loops joints or smell like the Blue Rose joint or smell like the pineapple or whatever they want to smell like um, for their lady, of course. Um, And for me, my personal plans um, is still in the works. I want to, I'm manifesting. Today is the, what, the fifth? Today's the fifth. So I'm gonna tell you how my brain works, bro. Today's the fifth. I want to. I want to go out of town. Mm. I want to go out of town somewhere. That do be lit. I gotta get my bread up this week. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's my that's just how my brain works. Even though I be I told you about I be writing shit down now. I'm still very sporadic. I'm mm-hmm. very very sporadic. If I want to take a trip to Orlando tomorrow, I do it. I don't know if you seen my Instagram, but a lot of times I take. This is another thing. I'm very big on self care trips. 
Um, fellas, if you have not taken a taken a self care trip dolo, Huge. I advise mm-hmm. you to. The reason be, the reason being <clears throat> is because you have to know what you like and what you enjoy in order to be good to your partner in a relationship. You can't expect your partner to be good for you and to you, and you don't know what the fuck you like. So, mm-hmm. fellas, you got to explore that. It's okay if you haven't. Um, a lot of uh, people our age or my age, um, they have already um, started having children. And I know it's a little bit harder to, to do that when you do that. Word. So, if you are listening and you don't have any children or you do have children and you have means of getting a babysitter, I advise you, if you are financially stable, to take a self-care trip. Um, just do it, man. Uh, it's, it's, bro, it's it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic as shit. Hell yeah. um, I got on an ele- uh, elevator. <laughs> I got on a helicopter for the first time in Orlando. Right. Um, and that shit was A1, bro. Oh, like, right. I'm like, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, if this nigga have a heart attack right now, we are going down. Because yeah. I do not know how to fly this bitch. Because yeah. it's just me and the pilot. Just like oh, this. it's just y'all two. It's just us two, bro. Oh, so shit. if this nigga go down, we go down. Yeah. Like, I don't <laughs> But it was a life-changing experience, bro. Like, it's like you... When you have a fear of something, you just push yourself out the door to go do that shit, uh-huh. bro. It's no greater feeling because it's yeah. like, what the, what am I scared for to do anything? I can right. do anything. I put my mind to it. So, yeah. yeah, man. I know that's a little bit off topic again, but I'm trying to drop a gem on yeah. y'all in this short Makes amount sense. of time. Um, and yeah, man, what's what's your plans if you got any plans? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna drop a val. So the past two Valentine's days, I've dropped a Valentine's Day episode. Um, so I'm gonna do one of those as well. But I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. So two years ago, I did it with uh, just one, one, one woman, one girl, mm-hmm. and then the year after that, I did it with a couple. So I don't know how I'm, I'm not gonna do it with another dude, of course, because I want to get. I like getting a female's female perspective, perspective on female mm-hmm. topics, and what bigger topic <coughs> than the expectations? You know, what I'm saying of a woman on Valentine's Day. Oh man, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be ex- in that motherfucker like ex- this. Exactly. Like I'm waiting on that one. Exactly. Boy. So. <laughs> Um, that's it. Uh, but on the other aspect, on the on the pleasure aspect, um, let's put it like this. I saw a post that was like, "Shit, everyone's single this Valentine's Day. We all might as well get uh, get throw together some, and throw, throw some on the grill. grill, man. Go ahead, throw some <laughs> salmon. I'm vegan. I'm like, but shit. shit. Yeah, let's have. Yeah, let's do that. Everybody get together on Valentine's Day. Have a have like a a, a mingles cookout. Mm-hmm. That would actually be lit. Yeah. Like if hella everyone, not everyone, but a majority of people single, single, especially because of this COVID situation. Mm-hmm. So of course, taking precautions. You know, what I'm saying get tested before everyone come together, have a cookout, motherfucking mm-hmm. music, drinks, and have like some mingle shit where like set it up to where like you have to interact with mm-hmm. someone every three minutes, kind of like mm-hmm. one of those speed. Day. Everybody not just doing this. Yeah, that would that would be lit. That would be lit. So shit, I ain't single and I would want to be in attendance. Just the network. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's kind of late now, but next year I'm not, well. It, the only down part is, is Valentine's Day is you know what I'm saying in February, but yeah, and I mean, it's not cold. But if you you could figure it out, yeah. You next could. year, if this joint is on, y'all hearing it, y'all hearing it here first. By this time next year, if day My by day stamping it right now is on like it should be on, like I envisioning it, like I envision it being on as it should be. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna host some shit like that. That's lit. Um, so that's next year, but yeah, this year. Um, I got to figure out which type of episode I'm going to do and, you know, how I'm going to do it, whether I'm going to do it in person, on IG Live, Zoom, whatever it may be. Um, but to kind of, you know, circle back to your business part of Valentine, Valentine's Day plans with, um, you know, what I'm saying the different vendors and whatnot, getting your products for Valentine's Day uh, promos and sales or whatnot. I will tell this, you know, what I'm saying whether it's fellas, y'all need something to kind of, you know, kind of put something different in the air, spice things up on Valentine's Day, get that beard cologne, right? Or ladies, if you want to give a gift for your man, you know what I'm saying, besides coochie per usual, get that. Get <laughs> per that, usual. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead and get that uh, beard butter. Because <clears throat> think about it. How I knew your joint was official, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm real big on having good cologne. You know what I'm saying? Because you know when girls hug, you know what I'm saying, they, mm-hmm. they put the arms up for a reason because mm-hmm. they want... So they want to be around your your face and mm-hmm. your neck and your chest when they, they want to see what you smell like, bro. Yeah, like, so if you usually, smell good, like yeah. yeah. I, I I usually get that. You know what I'm saying? That you know what I'm saying compliment on the cologne. Mm-hmm. That's per usual. But when I got the the beard compl- the beard butter compliment on top of the oh man, she mm-hmm. almost fainted. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect cherry on top. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I will you say lean in for a kiss and shit, and she smelled it. She's like, what the fuck? It's a wrap. This, smell good. It's this, a this nigga rap. take care of himself, girl. It's a like, rap. I gotta text my girl. Right it's there. a wrap. So like, y'all, yeah. yeah. So y'all need to go ahead and get right with that get right. Um, Come holler at me. Yes, sir. All right. So speaking of that, before mm-hmm. we get up out of here, how can they get your product? Where can they get your product? <clears throat> so. You can contact me directly at Get Right Beard. It's at Get Right Beard. It sounds just how it's, it's spelled, just how it sounds. 
um, get right beard one word hit me up on Instagram you can go to the website get right beard.com www.getrightbeard.com you can place an order um, uh, if you hit me on Instagram and let me know that you saw this episode I will have a code the code will be day by day it'll be day by day mm-hmm. that's the code and it's spelled you, with an I not a Y don't ask why don't ask why I'm pretty sure my man could finesse it and put it on there so you can see mm-hmm. it but the code is going to be day by day and you will get 10% off of your shipping I got Oof. you I'm going to just I'm going to take care of you I got you 10% off your shipping we good um, or you can hit me up on my personal Instagram which has the the mental health aspect um, the mental health music and stuff like that it's OK Devy that's OK D-E-V-V-Y I'm Devrin you can hit me in the DMs be like Dev you Devrin D it don't matter bro it's all the same shit um, <clears throat> and you can be looking out for the products at different barbershops and stuff like that so again I appreciate everybody for tapping in even if you pull up the site and you don't buy nothing I appreciate you for even looking man that's, that's love I appreciate y'all mm-hmm. wholeheartedly and being that you know most of my viewers and listeners are um, back home in Maryland he's back and forth between Maryland and Charlotte so you know if you mm-hmm. want to kind of catch the in-person experience pull up, up on me pull exactly. up on me when it, when the that. weather gets uh, back warm in a couple of weeks uh if we got a couple of sunny days anything over like 50 55 degrees i like to be outside if it's in the 40s i'm like ooh nigga yeah, my nah. bones i'm yeah, getting old my back freezing. start hurting it just be too much yeah. um but <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> we getting up but, there baby yeah bro like i should be hurt <laughs> we getting a chiropractor man but um 14th and you if you're familiar with the city um, I'm right there on 14th and U Street. Um, if you're familiar with Lost Society, I'm right in front of where Lost Society is um, in the Reeves Center. The Reeves Building is right across the street from me. So if you, again, if you're familiar with the city, normally I'm vending on 14th and U Street. So you could pull up on me. Um, normally Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. If the weather's well and it's, it's nice, pull up on me, man. I'm that guy from the Day by Day podcast. I'm out there. Mm-hmm. Pull up on me. And then for my Charlotte viewers <clears throat> and listeners, uh, I'll be right at uh, Noda. In the Noda area, um, and also in Central, off Central, I'm sorry. Um, I just came from there uh, not too long ago. But Central Avenue and Noda, I'm normally there. Or you could just hit me up if you are in Charlotte, and I can pull up on you, and we can meet, talk business. We could talk products. We could just chop it up, shit. Go get something to eat, man. I'm a real chill dude. Bro, no. Like, I don't be on no bullshit. Like, that's just how I get down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> yo, we in person, we met one time before this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Real recognize real. And speaking of real, all of my viewers and re- all of my viewers and listeners, y'all as real as they get, I truly appreciate y'all for tuning in. Whether you're watching on Facebook Live, um, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, however you tuning in, man, I truly appreciate it. And I just ask that you subscribe and share. Just kind of put it out in the air. We try and get this good energy moving. Of course, I got to give thanks to my dog, Dad, for popping up on the podcast. Thank you for having me, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, everybody else, everybody out there, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. Peace. Look, man, that mental health shit, it ain't nothing to play with. If you ever feel alone, feel like you need somebody to talk to, shit, nigga, hit me in the DM. I'd much rather you not wear that shit on your sleeve, don't wear your heart on your sleeve. Don't wear them slits on your wrist. I much rather you wear a roadie. Shout out to Rich. Yeah. Mental health ain't on my wrist. Look.